So here we are at the end of another year. And what a year it has been. Um, I started this channel on the 19th of December last year and I had wanted to start a little earlier um, and I actually uploaded a few videos to my personal YouTube channel in October. But at the time I was experiencing a housing issue in that I didn't have one. Um, so all of my recording equipment was in storage and I had to wait until around mid-December before I could even consider making videos. However, I didn't post my first video until January 17, but you know, it almost lines up with the new year. So I've decided to try and do a little yearly review and then some goal setting at the end as well. Um, what were your goals for 2021? Did you meet them? Let me know down below. So since I didn't do one of these last year, I should probably go over what my goals were for this year. Um, at the start of this year, I wanted to start a YouTube channel and get at least 100 subscribers and also make at least four games. Um, at the time, I wanted to make games around the seasons like I did with my first game, Reindeer Rescue. I wanted to make an Easter, a Halloween, and another Christmas game. Not sure what the fourth one was, but it doesn't matter because I never ended up doing that. Um, and the last goal was to release a game on Steam, which was the only thing I didn't do this year. Also, I know that this might seem like a New Year's resolution, kind of is, um, but it's more like a yearly performance review and my channel anniversary just so happens to fall over the new year. Um, I find setting things out like this to be really helpful and it keeps you motivated to keep pushing in times where you might want to slow down. So let's start with the first two since they are related. Start a YouTube channel and get at least 100 subscribers. Well, obviously we've started and we've cleared 100 by a lot actually, which is really cool. And thank you to everyone that has stuck around with me. Really do appreciate everyone that has supported me this year. Uh, it's been amazing. I've been wanting to get into YouTube since I knew about it in like 2006. I've even got a post on my personal YouTube channel from like 2008, but I never committed and I never really felt like I had anything to contribute until now. And to be honest, my first few videos are actually pretty bad, um, which is to be expected, especially when I had no idea how to make a decent video. And to be honest, I still don't really think I know how to do that, um, but we're trying. Looking back, it took me until maybe my third or fourth video before I even got better at speaking into a microphone. An interesting side note, um, I've been making music in my bedroom for like the last five years before this. So I have a decent microphone. Um, I already know how to use a D DAW or a door, um, but I've never done anything like voiceovers before. So creating an interesting script was something that I had to learn. And if I'm being honest, I never even wrote scripts for my first four videos they were just done on the spot and I hated it it led to a lot of editing long pauses having to stop and figure out what I was saying and forgetting my point it was unmanageable and I almost quit uh, I didn't make a video for three months after my fourth because it was getting so hard to ad lib such technical videos so when I did the AI video I actually started writing out scripts and it went amazingly and I haven't looked back every video since then including this one um, has a script and it makes editing easier I sound better I talk faster and the videos are just better overall Things started picking up for me after that and have been going pretty smoothly ever since. Um, I put a stretch goal for 1k subscribers after the tilt shift video but it looks like we only got to just above 700 at the time I wrote this script which is still really amazing. Now let's talk about the games I made this year. I mentioned earlier that I wanted to do season themed games for the four that I wanted to make, but in the end I found that to be a little limiting, kind of boring. Um, and instead I opted to get involved with some game jams, which was possibly the best decision I made all year. Uh, it allowed me to make some interesting games, meet people in the community and get real feedback on what I was making. I'm not by any means a good game designer and I still have a lot to to learn and by participating in game jams and trying to meet particular criteria it really helped me learn more about game design and allowed me to put more focus into that um, I've got a long way to go for sure if there's one single thing that has been criticized the most in any of the games that I've made it was the game design and I definitely need to continue to try and improve in this area it might be the most critical thing to any game dev success. 
I never ended up releasing a game on Steam and there was a few reasons why. Primarily though, it was going back to what I was saying before about some of the feedback on my game design. I just don't feel like anything I could put out right now would be worthy of people's money. Uh, I want to create a product that people, most people will be genuinely happy with. Um, you can't please everyone, but I would like to at least please most. Uh, there's a vulnerability that comes with making videos about your process and then asking people to pay for a product at the end of that. If what I'm showing you doesn't line up with what I actually deliver, then it's a recipe for disaster and one I would hope to avoid. I understand that this may still happen in the future, down the line at least, but it won't be because I got greedy and I jumped the gun too early. So that's my review of this year. Two out of three ain't bad. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how things have progressed so far. Now, what are my goals for next year? Well, number one, I want to continue to grow the YouTube channel by making at least two videos every month. Uh, I really want to target watch time this year and that means making more engaging videos. I'm getting close to 1000 subscribers, but I'm still a long way off making partner at YouTube since my watch hours have not followed along. Uh, for people that don't know, in order to become a partner at YouTube, you need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours over 12 months. You know, it just takes time. Most people say two years. So, you know, we're gonna keep going. I'm not sure there's any particular metric that I can look at aside from average view duration, which is sitting around two minutes, uh, which I think is really bad. Um, I wanna try and double it, but I'm not sure if that's realistic either, but we'll see. So number two, I want to finish my multiplayer FPS game. Uh, as I stated in my video about this project, it's not intended to be a full commercial project, but rather a tech demo or an early access project that I may grow into the future. Um, I want to make it by the middle of the year, but I know it's a challenging project. So the goal will simply be to put it out by the end of the year. I've been working through the technical details slowly and I've got to a baseline for communicating over the network. You can see in this video, I've got a scoreboard that's being kept on the server and feeding that information to the client on request. So now I just need to get the players syncing over the network and some other fun stuff. Then I'll probably switch back to game design to build out the actual gameplay loop. I've got a couple of ideas for that. And then I'll probably switch back to the technical stuff. You know, at least that's the plan. Uh, work has sort of gotten in the way of the of really fine tuning this and the holiday season doesn't help, but I'm getting into a rhythm in real life and I should be able to start making some real progress again soon. So number three, I want to continue to participate in game jams. Um, I want to try and do the same amount as last year with at least four game jams are incredibly valuable and I've learned so much from participating. The people I've met and the feedback that I've gotten are the two greatest things to come out of game jams. So I want to keep doing them. I may make simpler games since I have other projects going on, but as long as I focus on game design, which is the thing I'm trying to improve on, I think it will be on my way to success. Um, I'll be keeping an eye out for the GMTK game jam again. I missed out on Bracky's jam this year, but I'm going to look at it next year. Um, and then I'm going to take a look at the game jam browser on itch.io. And when I know I have free time, um, I'm going to pick something out at random just to make things a bit more interesting. Even if it doesn't seem like it, a small jam can be just as valuable as a large jam, maybe even more. And that's it. Uh, those are my three goals for next year. Do you think I can do it? Um, I'm hopeful that I can do all three, but it's okay if I don't, there's always next year. What are your hopes for 2022? Are you working on anything that you're hoping to complete? Or do you just want to continue and improve on your skills um, and make amazing games? Let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me get closer to those goals. And that's all for now. Uh, I'm Isaac, I am Shaftev, and I will see you next time.